Hi and welcome Scorpio, Rose Burnett here and this is your mid-month tarot forecast for the 15th of March through to the 15th of April. It is a general reading so as trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, you're rocking awesome, love your support and if you do want to join our community hit that subscribe button just to make sure my videos come through to you in your feed. Alright let's dive in. So we're going to be doing past, present, future predictions with the uh, Beautiful Angel Wisdom Tarot. Let's see what's coming towards you, Scorpio. And I will just let you know I've just reopened my personal readings. They've been closed for quite some time. So if you feel like you need a personal reading, reach out. I'll put the link on this video as well as in the description box below. And uh, first up, we're having a look at the situation. You pull the Queen of Fire, which is very much, whether you're a guy or girl, very much believing in yourself, your self-confidence, um, the ability for you to accomplish anything, your goals, your dreams. Uh, it's also about that need to balance between your personal life and your career, um, having enough time for family, friendships, yourself. Beautiful energy, a lot of strength and empowerment. All right, let's see what's challenging you right now. You're the eight of fire, so a lot going on, possibly unexpected opportunities coming your way, travel. So it's about juggling, prioritizing your time, multitasking if you need to. Uh, you'll be able to cope, Scorpio, but just things are going to be busy, Spirit's saying. All right, let's have a look at the basis of the situation. Oh, you're going through massive transformation. Yeah, for some of you, a paradigm shift. A lot of personal growth, uh, some of you possibly changing direction in terms of life, career. Uh, it's interesting that you've got the, there's a timer here, you know, with it, like the sand in it. So time is of the essence. So if there's change happening, don't delay it. Don't hold yourself stuck or procrastinate. Go with the flow. Um, possibly breaking through a breakthrough from old patterning that's held you stuck for a while because there's this beautiful confidence coming out it's gorgeous all right let's have a look at the recent past oh well, you've got the three of fire so those things that you worked on in the recent past your ships come in yeah so you felt the financial rewards of that possibly now planning for the future what are your next steps a lot of fire energy coming out let's have a look at the present Okay, you've got the one of air. So Spirit's saying that your ideas might need a little bit of refinement before you kick them off. So if you're thinking of starting something, it's really about having a solid plan, a strategy. He's got a beautiful butterfly on his shoulder, which represents brand new beginnings. Now let's have a look at the near future. Okay, you've got the king of air. So this can represent self or someone you're dealing with being emotionally unavailable, whether it's in relationships or two relationships. Any other guidance there? Okay. You've got the five of fire, which is possible conflict with others, standing up for yourself or knowing when to walk away from drama and not getting in engaged with it. So you may need to be, like, instead of emotionally engaging in situations that are a bit fractious, is to take a step back and just, you know, hold on to that beautiful barrier around yourself in terms of allowing others to affect your emotions, standing in your strength. All right, let's have a look at uh, your energy in the situation. Well, you've got the seven of earth. So you just, Spirit's saying, just keep working on your goals, your dreams. Uh, you know, she's, you've already planted the seeds and things are growing and flourishing and, and not to let anything sway you off your path. All right, this is the energies of others around you. Oh, you got the Queen of Earth, very grounded energy, beautiful love of family, home. Uh, she's focused on a coin, so feeling financially secure and stable, um, taking a very practicable, sensible approach to life. Beautiful strength coming through. All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears. Mm, 
you've got the king of water. So some of you are hoping for a beautiful, trustworthy love partner to come in. Uh, the ships, is, it's interesting you've got two ships where you can't actually see things coming towards you, but they are Scorpio. So guys, whether this represents you looking for a beautiful, loving partner or, you know, girls, there's a gorgeous, trustworthy uh, relationship here. It feels like it's sitting in escrow. What does that mean? Uh, it's waiting for you to be ready. Some of you are connecting with somebody that is a, has the potential to be a beautiful love partner. Gorgeous. All right, what's the outcome? Oh, you've got karmic justice coming in. Balance the scales happening in your life. This is beautiful. All right, let's pull you some more guidance with the beautiful Muse Tarot. Let's have a look at this uh, busyness going on here. Okay, you've got the four of voices. So some of you are worrying about things, whether they're going to turn out for you. And Spirit's saying you need to let go of that, the mindset where you're stuck in worry and anxiety and take some time out for self. She's sitting in a bath with rose petals, yeah. So finding that quiet time for self. Any other guidance there? Mm, you're the five of emotions. So some of you have gone through a challenging situation where she's literally being stabbed in the shoulder with an, ice, an icicle, right? Which means you just need, you really are just got to take some time out for self, Scorpio. I mean, whenever we have these kind of energies, one, you've got to ask yourself, am I creating that anxiety myself? Or am I being affected by life experiences where I just need to take a step back and just regain my center? Any other guidance? Mm. You got the nine of emotions, so which is basically the ability to manifest these beautiful blessings in your life to attract them. You've just got to watch what you're vibrating out. Let's have a look at this transformation going on. Mm. You got the three of emotions, so there's a lot of beautiful friendship support, supportive people around you at this time. Tap into those. And you've also pulled the muse of emotions, which is directly related to your ideas might need refinement. So Spirit is saying you just need to create this beautiful sense of inner peace and calm. If, whilst everything around you might be in a bit of a storm, Scorpio, it's not your energy, I have to be honest with you. It's just life circumstances and the energies of others. Let's have a look at this possible conflict with others here. Mm, Spruce saying you're the magician. Yeah, you've got everything you need within you uh, to create the life you want to create. Where do you want to put your time and energy? She's got four balls in front of her. So what do you want to focus on? Whatever you focus is going to come, come into fruition. I mean, we always got to take action towards it. And you've got the five of voices. So... This is about extending the olive branch, being the bigger person. You don't know what other people are going through, particularly if they're acting out. And you've got the world. So this is related to your ideas, your sense of financial security. It can certainly represent expansion, travel, doing things on a global scale. There's nothing that you cannot do, Scorpio. And you've got the ace of emotions, which is directly related to new love, by the way, which is approaching things in a different way. Yeah, a fresh approach to love. You've got to let go of the past, which often comes up for you. Let's have a look at this divine justice coming in. Mm, beautiful sense of celebration, hope, happiness. There's a whole community here. So whatever is coming through for you for karmic justice, it's going to be a lot of people happy for you. Some sort of victory or win coming your way. All right, let's pull you some guidance with the beautiful Nature's Whispers Oracle. I just flipped out. you got inner truths, which is looking within and really taking stock of what's important to you, what has value and meaning for you, what you want to do with your life, trusting yourself. Mm, and a need for you to be really gentle with yourself, particularly if people around you are being fractious. Mm, 
Oh, and you got make a wish. What do you want to? Um, it's like almost like making a dream come true. You have the ability to manifest whatever you want right now, Scorpio. What is it that you want? Spirit saying, make a wish, put it out there to the universe. All right, let's pull you some guidance from your healing angels. This wants to come out. Oh, you've got the blue angel, which always re um, represents Archangel Michael. Yeah. I, Archangel Michael, I'm here by your side. I'm all around you and will forever protect you. Remember this whenever you feel fearful. I love you all as well. So that beautiful angelic protection around you, mm -hmm. no matter what's going on. And forgiveness, let go of the past, clear your heart and mind through forgiveness. There's definitely a need to release the past. For some of you, directly related to opening up to new love. And trust all will work out well. We, your angels, are here to nurture, protect, and heal you. Trust in the healing power of our love. We love you more than you will ever know. Oh, my God, so much beautiful angel protection around you at this time. All right, I'm going to pull your crowning energy from the beautiful Divine Circus Oracle, which is a deck by Lana Fairchild. Mm. You pull the Pixie Pirouette. And it's very much about the fact that there is a real you within self. Uh, you know, sometimes we have to do a lot to adapt to circumstances around, um, and particularly in life. Uh, we're always faced with challenges, but it's remembering that there is that beautiful, real, authentic you that has value, that has meaning, that is lovable. And it's about recognizing that there is more to life than merely surviving, that you are meant to thrive and you are meant to have beautiful blessings in your life and you're meant to have karmic justice and you're meant to have a beautiful love relationship and financial stability and that you're so deserving of it, Scorpio, and to remind yourself of that, yeah, no matter what's happened in your life. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below on how it resonated with you. Hit that subscribe button if you want to join our community. Reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need one. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.